Good afternoon, everyone. John McNamara, your Wilbur Ellis agronomist here at the Plattsmouth, Nebraska location. Just want to give you a little update on what we've been doing here the last few days. Today is Friday, September 8th. And this afternoon, we are kind of giving you an overview of our corn hybrid catalog. We do this annually, uh, right at Black Lair when the corn matures, to kind of give you a name with a face, so to speak, of everything that we sell and support, uh, and kind of start the story as far as what it looked like back in September uh, and what it turns out to be in harvest. So this is everything from 102 to 120 day hybrid. Uh, and we give you a little bit of background uh, as far as what we know about it so far from a data standpoint, from a product placement standpoint. And as you can see, some of these uh, look fairly striking. They always will when the, the ears are this wet, they look huge. However, they do shrink down proportionately. Uh, the good news is this year is that what we once thought was a lost crop pre-4th of July, obviously the weather since then has developed some sizable ears. Now that's going to vary uh, where you're at, how much rain you got, when you got it. Uh, but I invite you to come by the seed building and you can take a peek at these throughout harvest and really throughout the winter months and get a vision on what they look like uh, the first week of September. Similar to what we've shown you on the ear boards and corn, I'd like to give you a display of what we sell and support on the soybean lineup. So we assemble not only mature, also in this case, um, kind of choices, which you have from a herbicide choice from E3s, Atavo soybeans, what they look like in stature, what they look like in stature side by side pre-harvest, plant height, how they uh, adapt to different environments, how tall they are, how they pod, so on and so forth. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean anything from a yield standpoint. However, uh, we usually talk about the taller the bean, the more nodes, the more blooms, the more pods, which typically mean more yield. It does not take a tall bean to yield well. However, it kind of gives you a little name of the face uh, as far as how they potted and how they yielded. Again, like we've talked about in corn, uh, we're giving you some placement data, some uh, yield data, some placement information, I mean, uh, as far as what we know so far. Uh, these will be on display through the fall, uh, as well as the winter months, uh, when you're making your genetic selections this fall and winter. Uh, it's a nice reference point available to you here in the seed building.